Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, true of all ages, this is Chris of the Next Generation. I'm here bringing you some more Super Smash Bros. for Wii U, and today I'm going to be reviewing the DLC for our three newest fighters, Lucas, Roy, and Ryu. So what I'm going to do for this is I'm going to talk about each, we're going to stay on this here menu for a little bit, I'm going to talk about each uh, character, kind of, uh, <coughs> kind of separately. Excuse me for my coughing, I'm still a bit sick, but that's okay. Let's talk a little bit about Lucas here. Uh, Lucas is a returning character from Super Smash Bros. Brawl. Um, my problem with Lucas is the same problem that I have with Ness and the same problem that I had with both Lucas and Ness in Brawl and that's that uh, I can't recover with them. I can't figure out how to use uh, the PK Thunder. I mean, it, the concept is simple enough, but I can't actually pull it off. Sorry for the background noise, I am rearranging something so I can get a better camera angle on this. There you go. Um, yeah, so that's my main problem with Lucas is the PK Thunder. My other problems with Lucas is that, um, he seems to be a very, <coughs> a very floaty character, which I don't really have a lot of problems with, because uh, I, I find myself a decent Mewtwo. But Lucas also seems to be very, um, precision-based. Uh, to do any large amounts of damage. So, also another thing, Lucas doesn't have a lot of power behind him at all, so... Lucas just is not my playstyle at all. Now we move on to Roy. Roy is a returning character from Super Smash Bros. Melee. Uh, he's Fire Emblem, Lucas is Earthbound. Didn't mention that earlier. But yes, Roy was returning from Melee. I did not play Melee, so I don't know a lot about Roy. Um, that's a pretty cool outfit. But I'm more red, so. Um, when I first saw Roy, I pretty much thought of him as Marth if he got a Fire Flower from Super Mario Brothers. Pretty much a fire version of Marth, but he's a lot more than that, actually. The... his attacks... um... are all fire-based, pretty much. They're all a bit more powerful. Roy is a bit more, um... Roy's up special, the Dolphin Slash, is a bit more controllable. A lot more controllable, actually, than Marth's or uh, Lucina's. <clears throat> but he does have he's not exactly the fastest character in the game he only has one his standard uh, combo uh, he doesn't really have a standard combo his neutral A is one slash there's no combo after that it's just one, one attack one slow attack that does a good it does a good deal of damage, but it's not going to combo up your opponent. Um, also, Roy's neutral special is like Ike's uh, neutral special. And it's pretty good for edge guarding as well. I, out of the three characters here, my best is probably with Roy. And then we have Ryu, a newcomer from Street Fighter. <coughs> I didn't look at uh, Lucas's outfits. Here are, you know, here are Lucas's outfits. 
My favorite is probably the black, the evil Lucas one. Uh, anyway, Ryu is very, very different. A lot of his moves are based off of, of course, his street, his moves from the actual game Street Fighter. But his, he, uh, Ryu is the first character to actually be able to use two different Final Smashes, one from range, one from uh, close up. Um. Uh, most of Ryu's attacks can be used by. Um, using the original command from the Street Fighter games. For example, uh, there is a powered up form of the Haruken, which is his uh, neutral special, which would you would normally use by pushing the B button, which you can actually make it go faster and farther by holding down the B button, but you can use a more powerful version that hits multiple times by doing a half circle from the back down to the front and pressing A. Uh, actually, I want to see if I can show that off. That's the only of those combos that I've been able to pull off. Let me just bring it to a one stock right quick. And I'll also show off the uh, Street Fighter stage. We got Dreamland 64, the Miiverse stage, and... Suzaku Castle. I will go over all three of those in a different video. Uh, but we're gonna head to the Street Fighter stage that came with Ryu. And I'm going to try to... Yeah, there it is. The, that's the, uh... I don't know how to... And... and it's half. Okay, I got it to do that that time. He also has a focus attack there, which he can take a hit from and then hit somebody with full power, which normally does not launch. So yeah, Ryu is more of a, uh, uh, is more of a skill-based fighter than anybody else, or at least any of the other uh, three <coughs> DLC characters, as far as I could tell. He's not really my style. I do like uh, his move set, but I'm just not sure. Has just begun. If Ryu is the best idea for me. So if I were to rank these three characters from my least usable to my most usable, least usable would definitely be Lucas, then Ryu, and most usable, Roy. But, with that all said and done, we're going to take all four DLC characters we've had so far and give them a fancy eight. Man, smash. Now, how are we going to do that with four DLC characters? Well, like this. The first one, Mewtwo. And his partner will be a character similar to Mewtwo, Lucario. Everybody always said that Lucario is just a different form of Mewtwo. They're a lot different in this game. But that's how they say it. Lucas. And Ness, <coughs> Roy, and Marth. Ryu, and the closest guy I've seen on this, the closest thing I can think of to Ryu really is Little Mac. I mean, they're both fighters, like actual fighters. 
So what we're gonna do is we're gonna make it three stock and turn on Smash Balls. Where's a good stage for these characters to take on? Why not go to a... Let's go to a DLC stage. Let's go to Dreamland 64. And only have these guys get it on. Alright, so Mart seems to have taken a ton of damage already. Mew 2 is almost gone, but he teleports back up. Oh, nice side smash by Mew 2 takes out Marth. Little Mac has a KO uppercut ready, but can he actually hit it? He cannot. There goes Lucario. His first sock down. There goes Mewtwo. His first sock down. There goes Ness. One down. Lucas has almost got one down. Ryu and Little Max still with all three of their stock. Oh, look out. Here comes Mewtwo. <coughs> Taking out, uh, I believe... Ryu, uh, he took out Ryu, Little Mac, and I think Lucas as well. He definitely took out Little Mac, and one other, I was, at least one other. Uh, looks like Ness could not recover, and he goes down. First one down to one stock. Roy still has all three of his stock. The only one. Well, there it goes. There goes Ryu, second stock down. There goes Little Mac and Mewtwo. Down to their last stocks now. Oh! Marth going down to his last stock, and now Lucario as well, down to his last stock. Lucas and Roy still have two, they're the only ones with above one. There goes Lucas, down to one stock. Roy, currently with the advantage, still sitting at two. But of course, that can change at any time. Nice counter by Little Mac, takes out Roy's stock. There goes Lucario. And a KO uppercut by Little Mac almost takes out Roy. Ness and Lucario are out as well. And up smash by Lucas takes out Ryu. Little Mac is still in. There goes Little Mac taken out by an up smash from Mewtwo. <coughs> and there goes Mewtwo. Roy and Marth now two on one against Lucas. If Lucas can get rid of one, he might be able to... Oh, wait! Roy's gone! Roy is down! And Lucas currently has an advantage over Marth! And there goes Marth! Lucas and Ness pull off the victory. Lucas taking on both Roy and Marth. Two on one at the end of that. But that is going to be the end of this video, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to show your love and support. Hit that like button. And be sure to subscribe as well. This is Chris of the Next Generation. I'll see you guys next time.